Tyson Clark is a Christmas star. Characters, music, story, voice acting by Carissa Guillory slash Violet, of course. It is December in Camp Satisfactory. Christmas is coming soon and the children are hoping for something exciting to happen. Then, the main leader, Miss Searfire, approaches the microphone at the front of the food room. Attention all campers, it has come to my attention that nothing yet has been planned for the Christmas season. And so, Mr. Hurst and I have decided we should do something extra special this year. Oh wow, I wonder what that could be. Something magical, maybe. This year, we'll be hosting a Christmas play, and everyone's parents will be invited. Whoa, that sounds like fun! Uh, maybe, but everyone's parents will be there but mine. Not even your mom? Yeah, I doubt she has time to come visit as much as she loves me. And I told you before, my dad went to jail a while back. That really sucks. It's okay. I will be hosting auditions soon to pick campers for each role. Are you at least going to audition? I want to get a good role. Even if my mom won't be there to watch, I want to at least do something she'd be proud of. Ha! Joke's on you! Shorties like you aren't welcome in the play. Ah! Tiny Tyson thinks he's hot stuff, but he's just a little shrimp. Yo, run, please. What you gonna do, Lionel? Attack me? No, but I won't let you hurt Tyson. Maybe he should learn to stand up for himself. Maybe you should learn to be nice. Huh? Oh, Tina. Mind your own business. You mind your own business. Children, is there a problem? Uh, no, Miss Searfire. Everything is fine. Yeah, everyone is being mean again. Is that true, Yarrun? No, Tyson is lying. Behave, children. You got lucky this time, Tyson. Much later... Tyson, are you here for auditions? Yes, ma'am. Can I be Joseph? Oh, that little kid? He'd make for a good sheep. Oscar, no! He's not even in that little. He's 15. But he's short. He's the perfect size for a sheep. There's got to be a better role for him. Hey, if I have to be a sheep, I guess I'll be the best sheep of the flock. No, I won't have it. Oscar, maybe he can be an angel. We have a lot of campers to be angels already. There can't be a such thing as too many angels. 
Well, Belinda, you are the main leader. If you absolutely must have him in the play. Say, who's this character? That's the Christmas star, Tyson. Cool, then I'll take that to roll. No, the Christmas star is not a character. Nobody is going to play as the star. Oscar, are you really about to dash a child's dreams? Hello, Reynard. Let me guess, you're about to defend Tyson. It would appear Tyson has a brilliant idea. He wants to do something that is not typically done. It's that kind of trailblazing passion that I enjoy seeing. Sorry, Reynard, but I'm second in command, not you. My say has higher importance than yours. But I'm main leader, so I have even more power over you. You've got to be kidding me. How is he going to be the Christmas star? Do you have any ideas, Tyson? Well, everyone else will have a costume so I can make a star. All right, very well then. Tyson Clark is a Christmas star. Yay! I'm going to tell everyone! Good luck, Tyson. If you need any help, let any leader know. I promise you won't be disappointed. Tyson Clark runs off to share his exciting news with his best friend. I'm the star of the show. I want everyone to know. They'll smile at me and say to me, You're the greatest they'll ever be. I'm the star of the show I want everyone to know After being pushed around and shoved aside It's my time to shine I'm the star of the show I want everyone to know I'll stand up proud, take the spotlight and then I'll really glow I'm the star of the show Yes, I'm the star of the show And I want everyone to know I'm the greatest Daryl Tyson then spots Lionel. Lionel! Lionel! Tyson! Hey, how did auditions go? I landed the best role in the play! Really? Yeah, I'm going to be the Christmas star. Uh, you run. The Christmas star is not a character, you little dummy. Yo run, leave Tyson alone. I want to hear about his plan. You don't need to always protect him. He doesn't deserve your protection. 
And you don't need to always beat him up. Well, regardless, Tyson will not be in the play. Y yes, I will. Ooh, getting brave now, are you? Just congratulating Tyson on getting a role in the play. You better not lay a finger on Tyson Clark. Ew, as if I'd want to touch him. I'm gonna go build my costume. Bye! Tyson, wait for me! few days later and done the glue is dried and all the sequins are attached <sighs> are you good buddy yeah Lionel look how pretty my costume is are you sure you want to do this Certain. Now I gotta try this on. Okay, if you need any help, let me know. Looks good, Tyson. Did you make a costume? I got one of the few pre made costumes. I'm going to be a shepherd. Nice. You'll be the best Christmas star ever. I sure hope so. Oh, it's time to eat. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait for me. Soon, the day of the Christmas play had arrived. Everyone was excited whether they got into the play or not. However, trouble was brewing. Oh boy, there's that little dork. later where's Tyson wasn't he just here a few minutes ago huh yeah maybe he went to the bathroom okay but he better return soon yeah isn't his role coming up soon <sighs> Tyson! Tyson! Hurry up! You're going to miss your part in the play! Tyson? Are you in here? Oh dang! This bathroom is empty! Where could Tyson be? Tyson isn't in the bathroom. Lionel, get to the stage. Your part is coming up. There still may be time to find Tyson. Yes, ma'am.
Tyson! Tyson! Where are you? In her panic, Miss Seerfire begins to look in all the classrooms. Tyson, please! Just in time, Miss Seerfire discovers Tyson tied up in an unused classroom. Tyson! Miss Seerfire, boy, am I glad to see you! Come on, we better hurry. Your part is coming up. But, but, I look terrible. Doesn't matter. Come on. Miss Seerfire runs down the hall, Tyson on her shoulders. They went on their way. And the star they had seen. Everyone in the audience stares in amazement as Tyson the Christmas star joins the stage. When it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. The audience Ooh, clapped and cheered for Tyson yeah, for his dramatic entrance. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. And so the play continued as normal, aside from Tyson standing on the roof. When the play ended, the parents and leaders clapped loudly. It's me, honey. I saw your performance. Mom! I thought you'd be too busy to join us. I had to make time to see you, and I'm glad I did. was the Christmas star. Oh, Tyson, you're always a star to me. Am I fantastic? You know you always will be. Oh, hey, Mrs. Clark. Turns out your son makes for a decent star. No thanks to you, Mr. Hurst. Mom, this guy tried to stop me from being the Christmas star. That's not very nice of you, sir. Uh, 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 okay, so I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'll just, um, leave. And so Tyson was very proud of himself that day. Yorun, however, was mad that her plan failed. The end.
spot 